Okay, today I have a special treat for you. I've figured out how to film inside the microwave. So normally you have this grating in front of it to block the microwaves from leaving the microwave. So if you try to film something, something in there, it can never be very clear. There's always this grating blocking the view. You can kind of focus on it, but it still is blocked by all these little gratings here. Or if you try to put the camera in the microwave, you always end up with a camera that's on fire and a broken microwave. So today I'm going to be putting a CD inside the microwave. I'm going to be filming it in high definition and slow motion. Probably the clearest shot you've ever seen of a CD in a microwave. Okay, let's see the CD in the microwave. Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. And the coolest thing is you can see that the sparks are blinking. That's because as the microwaves pulse through it, it builds up enough voltage for the spark gap to occur and then it releases the voltage. And that happens over and over and over again. And so you see these blinking sparks go across. So you can see as the sparks start to form, they form in the center and then they move out towards the outer edges. So a CD is made from some polycarbonate plastic that has these microscopic indentations in it and it's arranged as a single continuous very long spiral track so it goes around in a circle so there's tiny little gaps between that spiral track and when you turn on the microwave it creates several thousand volts across those little gaps and so they spark across it. So it creates these spiral sparks that move outward as the electromagnetic waves pass over the CD. So if you want to see me put anything else in my top secret microwave that you've never been able to see before because it wasn't clear enough, let me know in the comments section and I can do some fun experiments in the microwave. And if you haven't subscribed to the Action Lab yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.